Cookies will be served for Dera for Pamela Deva Kaur birthday. That's a good news. What is here? Aha. Fortune cookies will be served in honor of Dwarki Abris. What things? What? Fiftieth birthday? Fifth birthday. I was surprised. I know that's what I was looking at. Hmm. You are getting in love with me, I am in love with you. But uh, tomorrow morning, I'm going to fly to uh, Acapulco. Uh, it's a good thing, but it's a situation where we have to sit down and decide certain things. So the best thing Gurudev thought, he should not come here, I should come there. We try to make as expensive as possible and as many excuses, but he won, then there was nothing to say. So I'll be back on Monday. So we'll continue this course of essence and self and projection. Uh, we'll complete it somehow before this summer, one way or the other. We have a good intention, but it's a matter of timing. I wish I should have nothing else to do, be here and teach you nothing but classes. Twice a week, then you can practice and you'll find the difference. But sometimes there are other things. You know, my problem is that I'm a businessman. I have to do my business, earn my own money, pay my taxes, and then come teach to help Yoga West. It's a, it's a different issue. Because when I came to America, I have a kind of independence. Because you cannot tell students truth if you depend on them. And I don't know whether I love you or hate you, but I must be hating you because the fact is that it is my job to know and see things and tell you what is right and what's wrong. And uh, it's a very different relationship. It's not a relationship which you understand love and affection and relationship. That's not true. It's a relationship of chiseling people into a future of their own self. You can't, you can't deal with it in certain ways. Therefore, progressively, I have to be independent. That's how it is. Uh, in the United States, by and large, you buy love. And you lie all the time as far as love is concerned. Uh, you go on a date, you lie, you tell every good thing of yours, you don't tell anything bad, you're scared. And then the other person find it out. Uh, you present a very polished situation. Very polished, very nice thing. I was reading a business report today, look at the funny thing, and the report sounded very well, very good. But it was worse than the last report, and I have a few photogenic memory, so I asked, as I pulled the other report, asked the fax it to me. I said, how come this says this is great, but this is not great at all. It was great before. So question is, some people just sit down and make a bogus report. They don't care what the facts and figures are. And they don't even understand the man who looks at them one side is very good with figures. And next time those figures won't tell you. You sit down with a person and you tell the person how good you are. Right? And when you deal with a person you do not come through, it's a lie. You know what a lie is? You know what sin is or whatever you call them? We don't believe in sin, so I can't explain it to you. But uh, wrong is when you tell somebody what you are and you are not. There's no need to give any inner hope. There's absolutely no need to give any hope or anything. Be normal. 
flow as the time is, accept challenges, accept weaknesses, accept whatever it is. I used to have a black student and I sent him one day to teach a class and he said, there are all white people. I said, then what? Are you going a black man? He said, no, I'm going as a teacher. I said, that's it. Just go as a teacher. Don't go as a man, don't go as a woman, don't go as a black, don't go as a white, nothing doing. Just go and teach a good class. And when he announced that he has come in my place, everybody collapsed. They, they gave him a standing oh welcome. He taught a good class. There was nothing wrong with it. But start was very painful. How can I go there? It's all white students. I said, then what? You are just a little more tan, they are just less tan. That's a really big deal. Who's black, who's white, who's brown, is not the point. Point is that you can look at the tragedy with all your degrees, your success, your faith, your belief, your yoga class and you have everything. Do you know one thing fundamental? You cannot even introduce yourself. In every introduction you lie. You tell every person you are better than you. You create a fantasy. Fantasy is not factual. Actually, technically speaking, there is no need of it. That is how we cannot have our intuition. Because every time we are fantasizing, and we are lying. And by habit, when we don't tell what is truth, then we don't hear the truth. We don't. We have a sensory system here which can hear. And that can save us from everything. Life without discipline is worthless is useless because without discipline you cannot maintain you you can do everything else this most important thing about you is you that you cannot buy and sell that's why in our corporation we hire everybody for 90 days we're very generous but for 90 days, we are very generous. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. If it works out, it's fine. People sometimes ask me, why 90 days? I say, why not? You work with us 90 days, we work with you 90 days. If things come right, right. If not, bye. Because we don't believe in hiring and firing. We believe in growing, glowing, going. If you want to go to a hiring, firing company, go outside the world, find everything is done there that way. Why, why I cannot explain me, me to myself? Do you know the reason? I don't have the discipline. I don't have the discipline to talk to myself. I don't have the discipline to know myself. If I don't know heaven myself, how can I tell you what myself is? So what do I do? I go to a doctor, he's my thyroid doctor. Suram knows him. There's not a square inch of wall where his appreciation certificate is not there. One day I was laughing with him. I said, why don't you put some on the roof? There's some <laughs> space there. He has perfect, knowledgeable appreciation 
and hardly there's any school or a place or a program where he has not worked. And he's in hardly uh, this uh, Beverly Hills, so everybody goes to him, and he's very impressive. But whenever he suggests any doc medicine to me, Dr. Sram said, no, no, one-fourth of it, one-third, <laughs> two category. So it's fine with me. You always show you are better than you. Therefore, you will never... Watch this catch word which I'm saying right now. It's the right a lesson in itself. You are always show you are better than you. You never know what is worst of you. So basically, 50% of you don't know. Because you never know worst of you. Huh, yes, worst of you is, I'm depressed, I don't know what to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is not worst of you. That is you working against you. Whenever you overextend yourself of you, and whenever you undermine you, you are insane. And mind you, another person may not say it. They'll keep a note of it. You have to know your weaknesses. And you have to know your strength. Between weakness and strength is you. Between I and thou is me. And that's very essential step. That's the first step. Things won't change. There are three things won't change. Nature of things won't change. Element of things won't change. Nature of things won't change. Element of things won't change. And time and space will confront. That is the truth. What is the first thing we won't change? Nature of things won't change. Elements will not change. And time and space, both, will confront you. So long you live, this shall continue. You can't avoid it. Now tell me if you know these three fundamental things, why you lie? Why you try to put a picture of you better than you are? You know what the problem is? When you put your better picture, people try to investigate, they found out the worst side. You show everybody head, they find your tail. <laughs> it's very funny, but that's true. Do you know when I came to United States, I used to wear a pink Pokeda turban. You have any idea? No, I'm not like this. I used to wear a pink Pokeda turban. I used to have a paint, which was some kind of terraline or something, which has like the jail thing, the lines and the cross lines. And I used to have a bush shirt. I think Shakti gave me some better one, isn't it? You gave me one? Of your son. Yeah, your son shirt. And uh, it was tight, his bit, buttons will never, you know, and like a, I'm Spanish, open chest. <laughs> <clears throat> and you know, first thing I tried one day to laundry my clothes. So I th brought a shirt and an undershirt and put it in that whole thing. And that thing and 25 cents. And I end up with a big pulp. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I didn't find my shirt and, and I asked a lady, I said, is it that it happens to close here? She said, only to you. I said, so I was not supposed to wash anymore. 
gone. I did not know the difference between a trunk pie and turn pie. Is the truth? I used to make Shakti sit in the class and she used to correct my English. There was nothing wrong. I wanted to help people, but I did not know the American language because Americans don't speak English. Your language is a terrible a slang language. It's not English. Your grammars are worst. You don't use any comma, semicolon, nothing doing. You call schedule, schedule. You call anything you want. So I was kind of an alien and I had an alien language to deal with. I thought I knew English. But after a while I understood. Americans. The beauty I found of more Americans was they don't know what they are finding, but they are finding something. They are prospecting. They are not prospering. They do, Americans do not enjoy their prospect, uh, uh, prosperity. That's the tragedy of it. All the wealth in the world cannot make an American happy. But they are constantly prospecting. They are constantly growing. They are constantly finding. They are window shopping. They may not buy anything. They have not that thing they call it, we call in English surrender. They have no such thing as surrender. For them it's a slavery, it's going in a dungeon. It's a weakness. I found out in a one week. I said, my God, here is a nation which wants to be and cannot be. Because mind wanders like a swing, 180 degree. But will is there. Will is there. There's a will to learn. So we started, didn't know much show, then it became big PR, didn't do anything, didn't prosper in one day and fall down. Slowly, gradually, we are here. Not going to go away. And nobody is going to go away. Because factual fact is, if you do not find yourself and your chakras, your tattva will remain in balance. It's the same story. If the transmission of the car is not right, if the transmission of the car is not right, engine is going to heat up. That's where you get stuck. There's nothing wrong. I was talking to a girl today, she said, I have a horrible headache, what should I do? I said, put pour cold water in your skull and comb your hair for a while. I have already taken two, three tenorals, didn't work. I said, won't. After she combed her hair with cold water and she found herself a little normal, she said, my headache is gone. I said, Tyrannol kicked in. <laughs> <laughs> Why should I take the responsibility <laughs> for anything? Because never tell an American about medicine. I've gone two, three times in trouble because of that. So, shoe are you. But there's a you within you. And that has to be searched out. That has to be known. Not the you which deals. Not the you who's dealing and lying and truthing and telling and scaling and finding God and worshipping and rich and powerful, poor and miserable. Not that. That's a skeleton. That has nothing to do with the reality of you. But within that, there's a progressive you. 
that you has values that's like a gold that's beautiful that is what actually attracts the universe that's the secret of prosperity prosperity richness is not prosperity richness is having the power of wealth prosperity is when you are purposefully satisfied purposefully satisfied let us see tonight we have good 10 minutes and we'll do it for 9 minutes and let's see if we can put ourselves into it all right watch i'm going to do it you are going to copy it that's all can you do it is a magnetic field it is a difficult try to understand this is here a this is b right this is what you would like to do i'm telling you wrong this is a this is b this is c this is d this is e now this is simple that's not what you're going to do you are going to do this this and this you're going to go to a b and c this one d will be missing and that will itch you because that's you should be doing but that's not you're doing so from here like like this you go one two normally tendency one and two that's a normal tendency <laughs> i i'm telling you how the hemisphere of the brain works <laughs> the normalcy and abnormalcy is here you can understand this is one and it's a mudra and from here you go one and then two like this exactly like this two and then three and then one is missing out of this okay try <laughs> it's not difficult but you will you will go through this i will do like few minutes and i'll tell you see eh that's wrong see one two coming from here this angle and then this one two three one two three all right <laughs> Can you not count? Come on. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh huh. Hmm. I tell you what is the problem it is our body's habit to be in twos man woman man and man woman and woman child as a mother father and son son and a father father and son all that everything you see we have a habit in two turkuti it mean three triangle and that becomes difficult now continue one two Three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Go ahead. <coughs> one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two, 
Now, hold. Hold, hold, hold where you are. Hold here. Now do with the sound current. Sound current is the tip of the tongue. Hara. Na, 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 hara. That's the, there's a little difference only. Mm, watch this. Hara. Hare. Hari. Hara. Hare. Hari. Hara. Hare. Hari. Hold on, hold on. Now, I was going to teach you tomorrow, but I'm going to teach you both today. When in your life nothing works, there comes a moment in life when nothing works. And all what there is, jiyat mushkal abne tohi koi na de, lagu hoi dushmana saakvi bhajkale, pajje sabbe asare chuke sab sarao, chitta avyas parabrun lage na tatti vao. If all the shelters are gone, all the hopes are gone, all the places of shelter or places of reach are out of reach, and enemies have come over you and the friends have left, what to do then? Har, Hare, Hari, Wa, He, Guru. There are six sounds. Now, don't take it as a mantra. These are six unchangeable sounds. Four corners, left, right, front, back, up and down. There are six. Chaikar, Chaigur, Chai Upadesh. Six. All is six. Which surrounds you is six. And the six will cover you. Six will cover you. It's not an obligation, it's a directive. It is called Chaikriya. Har, 
हरे हरि वाह हे गुरु गो It is hold, hold, hold. Listen, this is a sound current. Hara. It is not hara. Normally, if I say hara, then I am sound is creating a word. But when a sound current is, it is hara, hare, hari, hara, hare, hari, wa, he, guru. There is, if the tongue is used. Sound current has infinite power on God. It can bind God. It has the power. This is the only power which is given to a man to excel. All these great men, you name, who guided you in the past, who will guide you in the future, have a power of the sound current. is called vak siddhi the perfection of the sound projection perfection of the sound projection that's why i'm trying to relate to you that sometime in your loneliness you can deal with it yourself because this is age of aquarius here you have to be you the greatest piscian age which we have left behind 5 years ago was i want to know knowledge prevailed no 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 knowledge prevails computer will give you all knowledge what knowledge you want t t t t t to and put the mouse look prick oh tr 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 take everything who cares idiot can write the most beautiful letter people have already standing finding husband through email internet is around everybody's neck some people even don't sleep i woke up somebody 3 pm i said what are you doing i'm sleeping i said what are you doing sleeping at this time he said last night i was on the internet and in the morning i was in the This and I was in that net. I say, well, what kind of animal you are? He said, it was very interesting, Yogi. You don't understand. I say, I don't. <clears throat> God made the time to sleep. The man made the internet. Watch what happens now. So, let's do our internet. go good go
पचास मिनट squeeze your where your hands are right in this mudra squeeze the hands with your chest totally and your entire body and being so what you have created the energy electromagnetic field you can use it in the whole body exhale inhale again deep and squeeze your body entire being Whichever area of the body you can touch, you can reach, it's yours. Exhale. Inhale again. Deep, deep, deep. Hold tight and squeeze. And squeeze your spine upward and body. Totally stretch it, like make it little... Relax. You did it 11 o'clock by the ashram watch. You are into. Nanak says, Muh ke bolan boliye jis tare pyar. Through the mouth, you utter a sound current with which God listens by with love. Must understand what you talk is not a sound current. Sound current is which you create with the organic matter of your body where you use your pranas. And that has a projective power. So, when we come back, we'll do it with other mudras and we'll find an experience within ourselves. We like to know what is the idea of Kundalini Yoga? It's not what we think it is. The idea of Kundalini Yoga is to enhance a man in his excellence. Kundalini Yoga just doesn't believe that you have to find God. No. It believes you have God. Use the enhanced self of the God, not the enhanced self of the ego. That's the difference between the two. moment you do not use your ego, you know, I was told, somebody said, God has spoken to me. I said, what? To do this, this, this. I said, God has spoken to me. When he tells you, you that God has spoken, slap his face. God has spoken to me too. If everybody becomes a Moses, you know, in a Jerusalem, there is a hospital where there are 600 beds and all filled up with Moseses and Jesuses and that kind of stuff. It's a mockery of insanity. Once in Santa Fe, I met a class. You cannot believe the picture of Jesus Christ and his was exactly true. He was so realistically dressed. But he couldn't be. You always wanted to be somebody else. You never wanted to be you. Isn't that amazing? You have a fighting, riding, running image. And you always present yourself. That's why the Scientology that they cost so much. They put a person and they put the e, -me e meter, which is actually a light detector, that thing. And a person asks a question, you reply, 
he meter says wrong. So they go hours and hours and hours and hours and months and months, $25 an hour, to just teach you to speak truth. It's a profession. People say Scientology is a very powerful department. That's just a powerful, why not? They spend so much money on you and charge you all that money to make you speak truth. Why should they let you go? <coughs> now Germany is deciding it is not a religion, it's a speech therapy. They are very funny Germans, really. They say, what is a man sits before a man, use the e-meter? What spirituality is that? They say, no, it's a spirituality, it's a reason we ask spiritual questions. They say, we don't mind that. Fact is that you don't want to be you. If you want to be you, then you don't have to overdo many things and not do a million things. You can be very normally you. We'll discuss that. Now is there a person calls time, now she's missing. Where are you, conferencing? Come on, it's a birthday. Cookies you want to eat, right? Go ahead, sing. Sing to the Lord to bring this day. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a gentleman there, you see, sleeping. He's in corpse pose down there. Um, Zachary Abels, a.k.a. Atma Singh. Zachary Atma Singh Abels. And? Deva? Deva Clara. The two cookies will be served. Go ahead.
Blessed is the virtuous body, blessed is the infinite spirit, that in between there lives the mind, which never minds its own business. O Lord God Creator, O my consciousness, give me the strength and power of that mind. Give me the strength of self-discipline and self-grace that I can ask the mind to serve me and matters of head may not be decided. With my concoction, but let my heart decide all the matters with rhythm, harmony, love and affection. May this day the child born grow into the man, and may the man grow into the self, and may the self be exalted, so all what there is be peace, tranquility, and grace. Sadhana. Serve the cookies, and we'll see you when? Monday will come Monday, Tuesday. Tues Tuesday is what date? Four. We'll teach the class Tuesday, huh? Tuesday? Yeah. <coughs> Sir, would you like Gurunam to sing a song? Huh? Would you like Guru Nam to play and sing a song? That What's wrong with that? Sing a song. Is this something you cannot sing? Hey, read my this. What says? Mm -hmm. There's a cookies. Kiss a bird, showers of love. See what you see, rainbows, blue horses of love, rainbows. See what you see. To bring showers of love, become showers of rain, of rain. Are you? I see you. Why are you? I see you. Why? Of love, see what you see, rainbows, blue horses of love, rainbows, see what you see, to bring showers of love, become shower, become shower, be bring showers of love, become shower.
Oh, a, a five. My neighbor wrote that those words. My my five year old neighbor wrote those words to that song. Okay. I, I, I don't know. This one doesn't have any words. That's cool because you don't know them anyway, and I won't know them. That'd be cool. <laughs> you I forget it. it. Yeah. Oh.